A little more than a year after state investigators first shut down Internet cafes around Florida, they have now carried out new raids. A local operator was one of their targets. Pete Miller of Neptune Beach owns this cafe, Pete's Retreat on the West Side, and several others. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement serves search warrants at Miller's cafes and also at Internet cafes owned by a Central Florida man. The investigators held a news conference late this afternoon to explain the raids. John LaForce Kent Justice is joining us now live on Northwest Jacksonville, outside one of the seven local places that were raided and closed. Kent? And Tom, from what we can tell on signs, these will be normal business hours. Instead, door firmly closed. This place is shut down, even with the signs that say open right now. It's a direct result of state agents raiding this location and shutting it down earlier today. The gold mine is one of the businesses shut down and investigated for illegal gaming. It's the only internet cafe in Jacksonville not named Pete's Retreat or something like that, raided Thursday. FDLE also went to the Pete's Retreat in Lake City for the same reasons. At a state law enforcement news conference, Pete Miller was named as one of the two business owners targeted by agents. Is it conducting a slot machine type of game or is it conducting a sweepstakes type of game? Attorney Mitch Stone represents Kelly Mathis, the Jacksonville lawyer convicted in last year's Internet Cafe stings. Mathis faces six years in prison pending Stone's appeal. Stone says the problem remains. It is very, very difficult to figure out what's legal and what's not. The way the state is analyzing this is what the customer does with the product dictates whether it's gambling or whether it's a game promotion sweepstakes. This is illegal. We're not done. Allied Veterans wasn't the only case we're looking into or prosecuting. It's illegal. It violates Florida law. Stone says his client always believed he was operating within the law. Owners of these new businesses, like the gold mine and Pete's Retreat, may believe that as well. My understanding of these particular machines are that it was a pre-reveal machine that basically once somebody uh, bought their internet time and they got their chance to win the prize, the, the, the prize was automatically revealed. So they could go play a game if they wanted. They, it, it made absolutely no difference. They already knew if they won or not. And so the question is, wh why would this be considered illegal? And I, I don't know the answer to that because I've argued this for a year now, and I'll continue to argue it with the appellate courts. We spoke briefly this afternoon with Robin Rukop. She manages some properties like this and knows Pete Miller. She told us that we are operating within the law. She also said that uh, a group of managers or owners would want to talk a little bit after FDLE made its announcement this afternoon before they had an official response. But it sounds like they're pretty upset about it and think that they were following the law in operating these Internet cafes. Cat Justice, Channel 4, the local station.